What's going on guys, Gautam and Ramesh here with another video and this video has been long time due, okay, long overdue because I've been collecting a lot of facts and data for this video because, you know, everything I say has to be backed by science and I've been reading a lot of research journals and a lot of publications to get this video out because this kind of shocked me when I read it also because this was a very important topic and this is very important because 90% of you all are doing it the wrong way. Because whenever I walk into a gym, I see this mistake happening. Stretching, okay? Now we need to understand the use of stretching and warm-up. Warm-up is not stretching essentially. Stretching and warm-up are two different things, okay? So before we start, this video is mainly targeted towards people who have been lifting you know people who have been lifting for a year but you know even if you're a beginner even if you're just beginning your lifting journey or your bodybuilding your power lifting your fat loss or whatever it is i really think that it's it is really essential for you to know about this so please pay attention and you know just trust me on this one guys so here's the thing let's first talk about warm up and why we need to warm up okay so warm up is something that we do before we start working out before we start uh, you know any kind of activity that involves a lot of physical you know stress so it might even it, it, it might not just be bodybuilding it might not just be lifting weights it might be something that you do f before playing football it might be something that you do before you know swimming running whatever so we all like to warm up before that so warming up is basically your way of getting your body ready to do that physical activity so the base of a warm up is to not injure yourself okay so that's what we want there are two things we are we want to do this warm up to make sure that we don't injure ourselves and to perform really well in that moment in that sport or that gym session that particular gym session or the bench press or whatever so these are the two motives of warm up and how it reduces your risk of injury is because it kind of starts your joint more lubricated so that you don't you know suddenly apply a lot of pressure on it when it's not that mobile so this is how it does it and also it kind of makes your body ready to start doing that motion okay now this is warm up and this is what we want to achieve through warm up now let's move on to stretching now we all start off our workout by stretching a lot we do this you know head stretches we do a lot of arm rotations we do a lot if, if i see a lot of people who are, who stretch their chest like this and hold it for a long time before doing a chest workout or you know they they hold their lats like this for a long time before doing a back workout so these are all considered as warm ups by us in reality it is not that's not the way you're supposed to do it so let's move on to stretches so stretches are good before warming up but there are two different types of stretches number one there's something called as static stretching and something called as dynamic stretching so let's move on to static stretching okay the word says it all static means being stable or being in rest basically static is nothing but being at rest so static stretching involves all of these stretches where you hold your muscle fibers at a stretch position for a period of time so you hold this stretch like this for your chest for 10 seconds or you stretch your leg for 10 seconds so you 10 20 30 whatever so basically if you pull the muzzle and hold it for a long period of time that comes under static stretching now the second thing is something called as dynamic stretching okay now again the word says it all dynamic means being in motion okay so dynamic stretching is something like your knee your high knees where you kind of replicate a jogging motion or you know you kind of uh, jump before squatting like jump squats explode suddenly on top and then come back down and sometimes a lot of people you know before they do bench press they take an empty dot and start you know pressing it for like 10 15 20 reps kind of replicating the same motion with lesser amount of weights if you're sprinting you start to jog a little bit and then slowly increase the pace of jogging okay if you're bench pressing if you want to bench press 100 kgs you slowly start off with the empty rod then you start putting 20 kgs on top of it and then you bench press so all of these come under dynamic stretching so basically what you try to do is you try to replicate the same motion with lesser amount of weights right and you kind of do it in an explosive manner and also other stuff like you know if you, if you want to do chest you kind of start doing this it's nothing but a pick like fly whatever this is a function of the chest right but you kind of do it again and again it kind of becomes a dynamic stretching 
So this is the difference between static stretching and dynamic stretching. Now static and dynamic, they both have a very important role to play in your physical activity. Now both are very important and none of these two things can be neglected. It all depends on the timing. When should you do static stretching and when should you do dynamic stretching? Now as far as what I've seen a lot of people do is they do static stretching and they consider static stretching as a warm up before their physical activity. So if I see a lot of people who are runners, they kind of stretch their leg out for a long time, hold it, hold the stretch for a long time before they start jogging. Now these, are, these come under static stretching. Even, even there are people who hold the stretches for a long time, they, they squat and they open up their hip flexors for a long time before they squat. So basically, doing stretching before a workout is not warming up. Now there are studies that say that if you stretch before a workout or if you stretch before a physical activity or any kind of sport activity, it hinders your performance. Okay. Now there is a logical explanation to this. If so, my whole thing is if you stretch before you work out at the gym, you will not be able to perform the same as you going and doing that without stretching. So there is a study that says that if you stretch or if you hold your stretches for a long time before a workout, you will lose your strength. You will not be able to lift as heavy as you can, right? The reason being is this. When you stretch your muscle fiber, think of your muscle fiber as a rubber band, okay? So when you stretch your muscle fibers, it kind of elongates. And when you push your weights, the elasticity in the muscle fiber also acts as a component for you to push up. So when you're doing a bench press, I'm, I'm going down, my muscle fibers are stretched. So there is some elastic force in these muscle fibers and that will help me to push it back up, right? So this is how you lift heavier because you want that elastic force in your muscle to help you and assist you in your lift. But if you stretch before a workout, it's like stretching a rubber band for a long time and holding it. If you stretch your muscles for a long time and hold it as a position, it loses its elasticity temporarily. So what happens, you're not going to have that extra edge or that extra elastic force that you'll be getting before stretching. So this way, it hinders your performance. So now I think that whatever I told you guys makes a bit of sense, right? So this is why stretching before a workout and holding your stretches for a long time before a workout may affect your strength. And even if you're a person who are into sports, if you're sprinting and all of these things, if you stretch before a workout, you might not be able to sprint as good. Now this test or this research has been conducted on a lot of people. It has been conducted on, on a group of people who have been, you know, uh, lifting for a long time and they were asked to do a lot of stretches before the workout and they were, uh, you know, and their lifts and uh, all of these things were noted. And they took another group of people, similar group of people, who uh, did not stretch, but they did dynamic stretching before a workout to make sure the joints are nice and lubricated and then they performed the workout. So it was proven that dynamic stretching does not affect your athletic performance or your workout performance. Whereas static stretches affect your workout performance and your athletic performance, which means doing static stretches before a workout or before any kind of sport activity is not a good thing. But static stretching is very important for mobility. Now mobility is something different, okay? So for example, how far can your wrist move like this? If you're doing an overhead press or if you're doing a low bar squat, you need to have really good mobility on your rotator cuffs. So you, they should be able to go back or else you're going to get a pain. You're going to get a wrist pain. So how flexible you are is your mobility. How good can you perform the motion? How low can you go on a squat? So all of these things depend on mobility. To improve mobility, you need static stretching. So, so your question is, when can I do static stretching? So you're supposed to do static stretching because static stretching is only helpful for increasing your mobility. But at the same time, you should do it at a time when it won't hinder your workout performance. So when should you do it? After the workout. So do all your static stretching, holding all your you know stretches for a long time after the workout to improve mobility. Then what should you do for warm up? You should do dynamic stretching before your workout as your warm up. So what you're supposed to do is if I'm going and hitting a chest workout, okay, chest and tricep. So what am I supposed to do? First, get down there and do some kind of dynamic stretching for my rear delts, for my rotator cuffs, okay and also maybe replicate the motion a little for my chest. So I, I take an empty bar and I start benching for a long time. 
So all of these things come under dynamic stretching. Probably I I take a you know resistance band and I do some cable flies for my chest. So all of these things come under dynamic stretching. If you're doing a leg workout, what are you supposed to do? You can go and do some jump squats. You can do some free squats. You can do some a little bit of sprinting, high knees. And also what you can do is probably can squat with a lesser weight or an empty rod for for like 15-20 reps until your body is familiar with that motion and then start adding weights. So all of these things come under dynamic stretching. So hope that this topic is cleared and uh, you know, I really hope that you guys understand what this is and it's very important because it can affect your growth over a long period of time, okay? Bodybuilding or whatever this is, it is not a one month or a two month thing. We are going to be doing it for a lifetime. So even a small different difference right now makes a huge difference over a period of time. And I'll see you all on the next one.